Hello everyone and welcome back to Mixbus TV Mixing and Mastering Tutorials on YouTube. I'm your host David and in this video I want to show you a simple but effective chain of effects that I used on this album I recently finished mixing. The band is called New Classics. It's only acoustic drum, piano and this amazing vocalist. Her name Sylvia. So being only two instruments and the vocal, I had a lot of space I wanted to fill in with effects. And everything, especially vocals, were very exposed the whole time for the whole album. So I used a combination of obvious effects along with subtle rooms and ambience to give the vocal space, width and depth. And I thought showing you this could give you guys some ideas if you want to get a smooth, wide, deep sound on female vocals or any other vocals really. The track is called Breathe, so let me play you a snip of the final mix because as usual I'm missing all my hardware here. So when we'll analyze the tracks, things are not going to sound the same. Just on the vocal alone, I'm missing two hardware compressors and a hardware EQ. But it's going to be okay for this video. So let's listen to the mix and then we'll take a look at the effects. And everything you do is good for nothing. As you can hear, the vocals are very spacey and wide, and while you can recognize obvious delay lines, there are also a lot of more subtle effects that give the vocals this depth and width. So let's take a look at them. So this is the dry vocal without any effect. And everything you do is good for nothing. Whoa. It seems everything's working against you. Ooh, oh, ooh. But keep the faith and carry on and leave your worries in a room. So close your eyes, just listen to your heart. And this is the vocal with all the effects, which we are gonna see in a minute. And everything you do is good for nothing. It seems everything's working against you. But keep the faith and carry on and leave your worries in a room. So close your eyes, just listen to your heart. Breathe, breathe the world and find a way. Okay. So it sounds very, very open, very wide. It's got depth and you can recognize the main delay line. But as I said, there's a lot of uh, subtle effects to give the vocals space and width and that ambience around it. The first one is this slap delay, which originally was supposed to be stereo. But uh, I ended up leaving it mono as you can see from the strange setting here the pan is at zero on the right channel and that's because the left channel here on the stock delay is you know the gain is at zero so i'm just using the right side in this case you can see the low pass it's an 82 milliseconds of delay simple as that with three percent feedback and um a little bit of modulation let's hear how this sound with vocal but keep the faith and carry on and leave your worries in a room so close your eyes just listen to your heart without but keep the faith and carry on and leave your worries in a room so close your eyes just listen to your heart so you see the mono delay it doesn't give it width but it gives it depth so that's what i was going for with the, with this effect after the delay, there's this very simple EQ, just uh, high pass and low pass, 
really, really shallow slopes, as you can see. Just this very, very simple delay here, it gives the vocals so much space and ambience already without, you know, blurry it out. The second effect is this, is an eight delay. I have the SSL just because I have it on every channel. It's not doing anything in this case. And then the H delay in ping pong mode. And you can see it's filtered out. Feedback is at zero. And after it, I have the stock compressor from Pro Tools side chained with the lead vocals. So you can see the side chain is activated. And when the singer sings, it ducks the delay and then it lets it go when, when it's not singing. So you know, the delay doesn't doesn't overpower the vocal while she's singing. Let's hear this. But keep the faith and carry on and leave your worries in a room. So close your eyes, just listen to your heart. You see the lead vocal is ducking the delay and this one gives the vocal the width. So we have the depth with the, with the mono delay. But keep the faith and carry on and leave your worries in a room. So close your eyes, just listen to your heart. And the stereo spread with the eight delay. Then we have a reverb, simple reverb. I have again the SSL channel and in this case you can see I'm cutting some low mid and I'm filtering out everything below 116 just to remove the low end going into the reverb not to make the, the reverb like too dense. And I have the Pro R reverb, you can see the settings. You know, it's a little bit less of one second. You can see it has a low pass filter here. And uh, let's hear this. Ooh, but keep the faith and carry on and leave your worries in a room. So close your eyes, just listen to your heart. Let me turn this up so you can hear it. Ooh, but keep the faith and carry on and leave your worries in a room so close your eyes just listen to your heart so this is an actual room this is uh this is supposed to be a real space while the two delays that we've seen so far were more like a, a, an effect this is meant to be the real room she is in singing so all three together but keep the faith and carry on and leave your worries in a room so close your eyes just listen to your heart and the reverb you can you can you can see um i have a five millisecond pre-delay not to blurry the vocal and it's not too long you know so it, it's contained the room is meant to be pretty small and wide more than you know long tail kind of reverb and all the three combined, you have this slapback mono delay that gives it depth. You have the A delay that gives us the stereo spread. And we can say a combination of, of these two, but reverb kind of hug the other two together and, and blend them together. And then we have the last delay, which is what you actually recognize even in the full mix, the main delay line. Let's take a look at this custom delay, I call it, because, you know, I pretty much every mix I, I make brand new kind of main delays. That's something I like to do. In this case, I use the dynamic delay, very underrated delay stock from Pro Tools. And you can see it's in sync at one fourth, feedback at 60. And if you don't know the dynamic delay, what it does is pretty much the same thing that I did with my a delay here with my compressor so when the signal enters the input of the delay the dynamic delay automatically ducks the delay level and it lets it go when the signal is not there anymore and with the envelope mode controls here you decide you know the timing the attack and release of such ducking then we have some filtering on it's pretty dark as you can see the lr ratio is 150 so it's a ping pong delay and stereo width is at 100. Let's hear this because there's more processing following this delay, which is interesting. Ooh, but keep the faith and carry on and leave your worries in a room. So close your eyes, just listen to your heart. Ooh. Okay, so it's a very obvious delay, but as I said before, the arrangement is sparse. We have just drums, 
and piano, and then there's the vocals. So I needed to feel the spaces, especially on this track where the singing is not too tight. And after the delay, we have a simple high pass filter at 200, you can see. The interesting thing is the filter that I put after the Volcano 2. And this is not just a low pass filter. And you can see here next to the key, I have the lead vocal in sidechain, in the input sidechain. And what I'm doing is I'm using the dry vocal to modulate this filter. So when she sings is all the way open and when she's not singing, so when the delay repeats come, it slowly darkens the delay. And you know, you need to be careful with the attack and release to get the effect that you want, but uh, yeah, this is what it's doing. But keep the faith and carry on and leave your worries in a room. So close your eyes, just listen to your heart. Let's make it go a little longer so maybe you can hear it better. But keep the faith and carry on and leave your worries in a room. So close your eyes, just listen to your heart. You hear the repeats? They get darker and darker and darker. And they are controlled by the lead vocal. So the filter comes in when she's not singing, so only on the repeats. Let me see if I can make it a little more obvious for you. All at once you're alone. Ooh, oh. Like a tiger in a cage. Now is obviously, you know, way too much and way too spacey for this kind of track. But yeah, you know, uh, if we put it where it was, it's subtle, but it, it, it warms up the delay a lot. All at once you're alone Ooh, oh. And then it opens up again the filter when she's singing again. All the four effects together sound like this. All at once you're alone Ooh, oh. Like a tiger in a cage Ooh, oh. But one thing I want to point the attention on is, especially on the chorus when she does this high note. Breathe. That's the part in which the dynamic delay and the compressor after the eight delay here are very important because all these delay would build up a lot. She's very powerful when she sings the high note and the chorus in general. So you don't want that super buildup of delays and having the compressor here and the dynamic delay here doing pretty much the same job of ducking the delay when she sings is very helpful. It keeps the delays to a lower level for the whole time. But still, you have the delays filling the spaces in between sang parts and in between words, which I think is pretty cool and, you know, it fits the track. And as last part, we have the double. I want, to, I want you to listen to this too, just to give you context. Double is open the whole time and it's very, very dry and this is the way I wanted it because the main vocal has all this ambient mono and stereo is very wide it's very it's very dense it fills all the spaces and i wanted the double to be just another layer in this case right up in front but you know the level is so low so you can barely hear it but again it gives us another layer it, it gives us texture so this is the double ooh, ah, ooh. but keep the faith and carry on and leave your worries in a room so close your eyes just listen to your heart and also gives us a little bit of stereo spread. I have filters on the SSL and cutting lows. I didn't want low mid build up here. That a simple delay stock. I tried a little micro shift, but I liked this uh, simple delay too. I didn't want too much modulation. The Esser. 
for obvious reasons. But keep the faith and carry on and leave your worries in a room so... Just hitting 3-4 dBs on S's. And EQ. Again, cutting low mid and the low end because we don't need it on the double, really. And then a compressor. But keep the faith and carry on and leave your worries in a room so Couple of dB of compression, you can see the attack is a 10, I didn't want to choke it. I wanted the hard consonants to pop out. That's pretty much what I wanted from the double. I wanted the T's and the, and, and the P's and the hard consonants to be stereo and to be heard. In fact, you can see the compressor is in dual mono. So, yeah. It, it keeps the stereo width wide with the lead vocal. But keep the faith and carry on and leave your worries in a room so close your eyes, just listen to your heart. Breathe, breathe the world and find a way. Okay, so it gives us this very dry but wide kind of effect. And um, the double is another take. She is that good. <laughs> she is that in tune. She sings that well. It's just great talent. All the vocals, double, and the effects together. Ooh, oh, ooh. But keep the faith and carry on and leave your worries in a room. So close your eyes, just listen to your heart. Breathe. Okay, let's listen to the mix one last time. But keep the faith and carry on and leave your worries in a room. So close your eyes, just listen to your heart. Breathe, breathe the world and find a way. So this is pretty much it for this video, it's nothing special really, fairly simple chain of effects, but uh, you got a couple of cool ideas, hopefully, like the filter on the delay side chained to the dry vocal, you can experiment with that for more obvious effects, and um, you don't need to use all these effects at once. I did here because, like I said, I had space, a sparse arrangement, but if you analyze this, you got a couple of foolproof ambience type of effects for any vocals. Uh, the mono slap plus the short eighth delay and so on. I hope this was useful somehow. If you're interested in knowing anything else from this mix, drums or piano or what, what the rest of the processing on the vocals was like, EQ compression, I had dynamic EQs, I had DSers, I have some other stuff, let me know in the comment section down below. And that's a wrap. This is it for this video. If you liked it, please leave a comment down below and don't forget to click the like button. Join us on Facebook and Twitter to stay in touch with us and get all the news about the channel, upcoming videos and series, and access to exclusive content. Keep supporting Mixbus TV by sharing the videos and spreading the word on blogs, forums, social media. Subscribe if you haven't already, and see you next time.